just a quick check in on my tumbleweed worm cafe where oh <laughs> I buried my uh, COVID haircut trimmings. You can see the uh, piece of paper that I marked the word hair on is, is ink is bleeding out so I'll probably take that out because that probably isn't a healthy ink come to think of it. Anyway, so it was under here where the bedding is that I put hair and let's see if the worms are into it. See if they, I heard they can eat hair and even fingernails and stuff. Here's the hair. Are there worms? Oh, there's a worm. hair feels exceedingly dry um, so I don't see that the worms could really get into it until the hair has broken down more with some moist um, with some of the moisture from the surrounding bedding and and the microbes so and this bin is not is not that wet. It, it, I mean, it, it, I can feel it even through my gloves that there is, is dampness here, but uh, it is not overly, it is not overly wet at all. Uh, there's a worm there, hanging out. And so I think maybe what I'll do is, maybe I'll mix the hair more into this this other bedding, you see how lovely and, and moist it is. I put um, I put some very very finely uh, fine particles, almost um, I want to call it sawdust, but it isn't. It's from wild um, ground up uh, trees that are wood chips, uh, so it isn't sawdust from preserved trees. Uh, but what I do is I I sift the wood arborist wood chips and uh, and then I oh, worm will go over here. And then I, uh, and then I put those very very fine particles of wood chips into my worm bins as a, a fraction of the bedding. Somebody recommended about ten percent carbon, um, like ten percent of the carbon is wood chips. I probably go, yeah, somewhere around there. Ten to fifteen percent is is wood chips, and uh, you can see I've got shredded cardboard. Um, probably an old piece of an asparagus stock there. But so I've got shredded carpet, cardboard, shredded paper, but it is not that wet at all. Uh, and so I'm thinking um, this hair is not going to get attacked in earnest until it is wetter. So I'm trying to, it's actually in a big mat, so it's gonna be impossible for me to split this up uh, with just one hand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut the camera off and I'm going to split it up and uh, and then the next time we check in the hair will have been dispersed throughout here and hopefully that will allow the moisture to permeate it a little bit more. Kind of a scary looking worm bin monster. So I'm going to do a follow-up video. I spread out the hair as I said I was going to do uh, over the entire length here put uh, put some of the worm castings or the bedding actually uh, in amongst the hair to hopefully speed its um, composting this is the bin that I harvested about a week ago so it is mostly new bedding and just some of the material that was left over from the harvest um, Consequently, I think a lot of the worms have vacated the premises. Uh, occasionally, oh, there, occasionally I find them hanging out in here. Um, but, uh, you know, other than the hair, I gave them just a little bit of, of cornmeal that you can see, the, the little yellow specks. Gave them a little bit of cornmeal. When I was harvesting this bin, I probably extracted about 500 cocoons and returned it into this bin so I know I'm gonna get lots of little worms so this is why I thought well maybe cornmeal 
but it struck me that maybe I needed to actually feed the bin uh, even though it's got lots of bedding just to make sure that the worms don't totally vacate to the lower levels and well there are like I said there are cocoons in here that will be hatching every day I have to be careful not to take out baby worms when I'm in here uh, spreading the, the bedding around but as you can see it's mostly new bedding I used uh, I used um, I think I'm digging down to a egg carton right now so don't need to dig any deeper but I used uh, uh, sawdust I used um, actually little leftover peat pots uh, that I had from starting my seedlings um, I had leftover peat pots because I went to soil blocks this year so I put the peat pots in here and then I put lots and lots of shredded cardboard. So what I would like to feed them right now is something I found in my freezer. I'd forgotten all about it, which is I had this container with alfalfa sprouts that we didn't eat them in time. And I just, I just didn't like, you know, risking uh, eating sprouts that had gone maybe a little bit off. So I just popped the entire container in the freezer and I happened to find it today. There's nothing wrong with the sprouts, not that the worms would mind that if they were. These sprouts were probably like a day past their prime when I put them in here. Uh, so I've thawed them, they've been frozen. Uh, they are a little bit wet as you can see, but this bin is, is dry, so I'm not worried about that. It's, on the, it's not dry, but it's definitely you know, dripping wet. And uh, I will spread these sprouts out because again, I want, uh, I want to get the food available to the worms and if I left them in, you know, they, they they're in a big clump. And I think if I leave them in that, I'd have exactly the same problem that I had with my cut up COVID haircut hair, which is the, the sprouts wouldn't be, uh, the surface area would not be exposed to the microbes and it would take a while to actually return any useful nutrients to the worms. I know some people feed their worms alfalfa meal that they buy from a, a feed store or something. And uh, I actually did buy alfalfa meal to either give to my worms or maybe uh, to my garden, uh, but I've never tried it in a worm bin. Uh, so these alfalfa sprouts, I'm sure they'll love them. Alfalfa is very good for us and very good for worms. So I'm sure they'll love it. And like I said, I think the balance in this burnt bin is tipped a little bit too much onto the carbon side because, you know, it has just been harvested. So it's got lots and lots of, of cardboard in it, shredded cardboard. It does have, you know, older castings that uh, were left over from the harvest. And they're actually, uh, what happens is when you put it's not sawdust, like I it was explaining. It's actually the dust from arborist wood chips. They are oak trees that were trimmed and then chipped, and then I'm using the dust from that in, in my worm farms. And when I put that in the worm um, bins, it is like a conditioner. It breaks up the um, it breaks up the clump any clumps that you might have. Like this is a brand well brand new quote unquote you know it was just harvested so new bedding um, bin and uh, the cardboard is is breaking up breaking apart very easily it's not clumping and I do credit those uh, the dust from the arborist wood chips with that um, conditioning of the of the bin so I'm going to put my blanket back on here and, and let this little fellow go back to his hidey hole and uh, we'll check on those alfalfa sprouts in a, in a, maybe a few days because I don't think they'll take a full week to disappear.